In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a lead generator for HMO permitted development conversions. That is properties that are outside of an Article 4 area. Once set up, this lead generator will then work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without you having to waste hours and hours of time scouring the online portals. It's really easy to do. We just need to select our area and then one of the predefined templates. I'll also show you how to tweak the criteria if we need to. Lastly, I'll also show you how to view your leads inbox and where to find the most motivated sellers for you to then follow up with. So the first thing that we need to do is set up our lead generator. So I'm currently here logged into Property Filter and we just click up here on the right hand side, add new lead generator. Uh, and the first thing I want to do is add a postcode. So I'm gonna put in L14 for Liverpool. We'll let the postcodes load and then just select L14. And you can see it's brought up the radius here. Uh, and then I want to look for other postcodes that are within two miles. So I'll just select that one, which has made that circle a bit bigger. Now just click on this, po on this button here, add postcodes, crossing the circle in selection. So I'm just gonna click that one. And now that's made our area a lot bigger. We've got quite a few postcodes included. Uh, and then if you did want to expand it even further, just click nearest district PC. And then let's just add in say L33 and WA10. So once you're uh, happy with all of the uh, postcodes you've included, just click next. And this is where we can choose a strategy template. So for us, we want to look at the HMO permitted development conversion. So click that one. We don't want to add any other filters. So just click next. And now we just need to give a name to our filter. So Liverpool LVP underscore HMO. And then let's just put PD for permitted development. So call it what you'd like and then click save. Great, and you can see that we've now got our lead generator and it's found quite a few properties. So there's 494 on market and 396 that are sold subject to contract. Now that's probably uh, too many. So now we'll go and just tweak a couple of things to go and reduce the number of leads. So if I click on this uh, lead generator and now click edit, um, the first thing we may wanna do is reduce the number of postcodes. So let's just take out the two additional ones we added by clicking on them. Then, then let's go uh, next. Now we've got some quite uh, simple, straightforward um, criteria that we can go and tweak. So the first thing we probably want to do is put a maximum price in. So I'm just going to put a limit on this of £300,000 um, to go and just get rid of some of the more expensive properties. We may also just want houses. So let's take out bungalows, flats and other. Um, and the last thing is perhaps we want to just ignore um, auctions. We just want straightforward purchases. So change auctions to no. And I'm just going to go and save this and confirm. And that 490 odd has now gone down significantly. So we've got 184 uh, leads instead. Just a couple of other tweaks just for HMOs. So if you again click edit, go to strategy, and then we want the advanced filters down the bottom. Don't do too much in here because you may end up with very, very few leads um, or maybe even none. But just under specific filters, the other things you may want to consider are just uh, reception rooms. So we've got a minimum number of bedrooms, official bedrooms at three. So you may want to say you want to have one reception room to convert into a bedroom. Uh, and the only other thing you may want to tweak is the surface area. So this is currently set at 100 square meters. So we can get rid of any um, really, really small properties um, that wouldn't be suitable for HMOs. So once we've gone and made those couple of tweaks, again, let's just go and press save and confirm. And uh, that's not made much difference at the moment to these leads, but of course that may change in the future. So now let's go and take a look at what properties um, the lead generator has found. So just click on it and then click check leads. Um, and you can see on the right hand side that available is 184 and sold subject to contract is 213 properties. But for us, we're always looking to work with motivated sellers. And that's where this bar at the top comes in. So on the left hand side, we've got five star and these are the most motivated sellers because properties um, sales have fallen through. So they're back on the market and the owners have also reduced them. So out of 184, 23 of them are actually back and reduced. So these are the ones that we want to focus on. So if I just go and check one of these leads, let me go and find one. So perhaps we will go and look at, uh, where's, uh, let's look at this one here. So this orange one. So I'm just going to go here and click show details. So we've got the floor plan uh, in the graph. We can see that it was on originally for 260 since November last year. Uh, they took it off the market sort of at Christmas time. Uh, and then when it came back on the market, they uh, took £10,000 off. So they are motivated. Um, so that's a good sign. Uh, we've also got the floor plan uh, as well. So we can see the various floor plan uh, and pictures. So clearly it needs a bit of work. Um, it's sort of a, yeah, a bit well-worn. Um, so that's a good sign. Uh, and then the last thing is, remember this is permitted development. So it's outside of Article 4. So for each listing, you've got a little map of where the property is. Um, but we can use this little drop down here, which has nearby Article 4. So if I just click onto that one, 
We can now see the outlines of the Article 4 areas. And if I zoom in, uh, we can see that this property is right on the edge um, of an Article 4 area. So the area is here at the top and the property is just on the edge of it. Um, so this makes it a lot easier to convert to a, uh, an HMO because we don't need to get planning permission. Um, clearly, this is a densely populated area of HMOs, which is why they've put the Article 4 area in, um, which means there must be high de tenant demand um, in that area. So uh, yeah, it's a really great way to find easy to convert properties. It doesn't need planning permission. Uh, the seller here is motivated um, and the property has fallen through. Um, so if there's one thing that you're gonna focus on, set up your lead generator, get leads coming through, and then prioritize the back and reduced. So the most motivated sellers uh, to get some fantastic deals using property filter.